Welcome back. As always, be sure to leave a comment telling me how I can improve myself. I'm always looking for improvement, and your comment helps out a ton. Also, be sure to check out my other channel, YC Games. Just me and my friends over there having fun playing video games. Lots of fun stuff. Be sure to check that out. Uh, yeah, sorry, it's been a while since I posted a video. I'm sure most of you haven't even noticed or honestly cared. But still, I don't feel bad not posting in a while. So yeah, anyway, let's get right into the video. Now, it's no secret that there is a Borderlands movie in the works, and that is very exciting. And while nothing is confirmed, there's absolutely no absolutes with this movie yet. It seems that most of the rumors are pointing to it will be live action. Now, a lot of <laughs> that sounds pretty bad, because... I mean, everything about Borderlands screams it should be animated, just from the art style itself to just the kind of game it is with the humor and whatnot, it seems like it would be better focused towards an animated movie. However, I got to thinking, and there actually is a way to make a good live action Borderlands movie, so this is what th that's what this video is all about. This is what I think has to happen for it to be a good live action movie. Now this really isn't saying much and it's kind of a weak topic to start off of just because whether it's live action or animated you need a good cast. Even if it's animated you need a good team of voice actors. However this is a point towards the animated because they can just use the same voice actors they've already been using if they're using the same characters. And that can be a huge problem if they decide to go live action and use characters we already know and love. If they can't find actors that look, sound, and act exactly like their counterparts in the games, they're just going to ruin the whole experience. It's not going to be a good movie. And I think that's kind of obvious, but at the same time, it's very important. That's why, if they're going to go live action, it would honestly be better if they tell a completely new story with new characters just set in the Borderlands world and make reference to events in those games. Like, mention, like, oh yeah, Handsome Jack has been through here. Just stuff like that. Make reference to the movies and the or not the movies, excuse me, make reference to the games and the universe that the movie takes place in, but it is difficult to use the same characters unless you can find an actor that looks and sounds exactly like they should. Now this one seems like an odd category, and honestly an obvious one, because no duh, if you're gonna make a movie based off of something that already exists, you have to care about what the thing is. You have to care about the thing that you make a movie off of. And it sounds obvious, but I've seen it way too many times, especially with video games. Something that should be a great video game movie just flops because whoever's in charge just doesn't care. And it's a problem, and it shouldn't happen, but it happens. And with something like Borderlands, how loved, beloved this franchise is to some people, especially me, you gotta put someone in charge that cares. Um, I don't know, do you guys remember the, uh, Super Mario Brothers movie? The live action one? Yeah, I love that movie because it's so terrible. And from what I hear, it's terrible because the director and the writers and the people in charge didn't want to make the movie. They didn't care anything about the property. They just wanted to get paid. And so it's a terrible movie. And it really is a terrible movie. If you haven't seen it, go out and watch it. I urge you guys. But don't go in thinking you're going to get a good quality Mario Brothers experience. It's it's an absolute crap of a movie, but it is hilarious. And that's why it is so important that the directors, the writers, everyone in charge, everyone that has any bit of responsibility in this movie has to actually care about the brand. They have to care about Borderlands to a degree that they will make a good movie off it. They don't want it just to cash in. They don't want they don't want a paycheck. They want to make an actual good quality product, which is exactly what Gearbox is doing with 3. They're not going for a cash-in like they did for the pre-sequel. They are making a good quality product, and that's why we're waiting so long for it. And I say, hey, let's keep waiting as long as it's good quality. Same with the movie. If they need to do rewrites or whatever to make this a great movie, they, they go for it. But as long as they put the care and effort into making it worth watching. Now this one's a bit tricky. Obviously, Borderlands has a certain style to it. The cell shaded you know, the cartoony look of it. That That's the artistic style, and that is something that has to be nailed down. Now there's a couple ways they can go about this. The easiest way, make it an animated movie. However, if we don't go that way, then there's a couple of things they can do. Either completely ignore it, just, you know, 
film like normal, make it act like a normal movie. Or, and this we really need to see, and actually something unique, if they pull it off right, get that same kind of artistic style, but make it live action. Like, make it cell shaded. Make borders of characters and props stand out. It'd be weird, but if they can pull it off just right where it's not blindingly noticeable, like it is in the game. Because, yeah, it's noticeable, but it's not like you're always drawing attention to it. If they can just make it seem like it is in the Borderlands universe with the same kind of artistic style, it could be such a good movie if, if they could pull that off. And it's a, it's a fine line between going too far and not even recognizing it all. It all. It would definitely be easier for them just to ignore it and not even attempt it. But if they do go for it, I mean, the technology's out there. It's definitely possible to get this effect with an actual camera. It, it could be such a great movie. Now this is something that is so, 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 so important for anything Borderlands related. Whether it be a uh, movie, the games, merchandising, everything. It's all about the guns. Now obviously the easiest solution, just use real world prop fake guns and throw them in there and say, hey, this is a Borderlands movie. But no, if they really want to make this a good movie, and I cannot stress how important this is, they have to use actual guns from the game. There's a definite unique look to pretty much every single one of these guns. If you see any of these guns out of context and you play this game, you can tell, oh hey, that's from Borderlands. And now yes, yeah, some, they look like real world guns, but you, most of them have their own unique twist to them. Even something as simple as this, like the Jacob shotgun I'm using. Y yeah, it looks basically like a regular shotgun, but you can tell it's from Borderlands. <laughs> And, obviously, it's it's an easy thing to do. It's an easy solution. Just get the props to make them look right. But if they don't, then they really messed up. And the other thing is, they need variety. They can't just have, alright, we made four prop guns, and that's what we're going to use for the whole movie. No. Have a Hyperion submachine gun. Have a Jacob's pistol. Have a TDR, I guess, submachine gun. It's just... Mix up all the manufacturers and all the guns. Have them all in there. Obviously, you can't fit every single gun possible because there are a shit ton of guns in the game. But just have a good variety. Even if it is just one Hyperion Sniper. One, you know, mix it up. Incorporate shields. Have shields be a thing. Don't just have it this obscure thing. Have the shields on the character at all times, like they are in the game. Have them have classes. Everything that's unique about the game, put in the movie in some form. Now again, this seems kind of obvious, but props make a world. Have a catch ride system. Have vending machines that sell guns. Have a character use them in the movie. If they do that, if they can make this feel not like a game, because obviously a movie is not going to be a game, but if it can feel like it makes sense that it takes place in this universe, that's all I'm asking for this movie. If they can pull that off, I don't care if it's live action or anime, they just have to make it feel like, yeah, that happened in this universe. That about does it for this video, guys. Like I said, it would make much more sense for the movie to be animated, but it seems like they're going live action route, and obviously it can be good. There is so much potential in making a good live action Borderlands movie. But there's so much that can go wrong. And I just kind of put out a basic list of stuff I want if they go live action, what they need to do right. Obviously, there's so much more they have to do. But this is just a start of a list. If there's anything else you want to add, like anything that you think needs to be in this movie, be sure to leave in the comments. If there's any critique to anything I do, please leave in the comments. I'm always looking for improvement, and your comments help out so much, guys. If there's any other video you want me to make, Borderlands or not, just anything you got, leave it down in the comments. I'll be sure to make a video on it. And yeah, that about does it. See y'all on the next one. Keep your stick on the ice. We're all in this together.